Hello, this is Tyrannosaurus Tiger, and welcome to <laughs> welcome back to Chatty Tuesdays. Uh, welcome, Jack's face, and yeah, well, welcome back to Chatty Tuesdays. Um, so today it's obviously a more vloggy style. Ch just casually checking your watch. <laughs> I was checking what day it was. What day is it? It's Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Of course. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, actually. So is this going up today? No, it's going up tomorrow. Weird things. Okay, so. I would like to talk about, uh, I guess, a few experiences that we get in Australia. Um, that mm. you probably don't get anywhere else in the world. So, would you like to start off? Well, if you watched his video the other day, mm. Minecraft Mondays, I was rudely interrupted by an echidna. It would have been yesterday's video. Yeah, it would have been yesterday. Uh, yeah, there was an echidna in my backyard, so I just <laughs> left the video yeah, halfway okay. through. Put some pictures up right now in case Yeah, they're the same them. ones that's about Minecraft <laughs> Mondays, but who knows, people might like this more. Yeah. Oh. Um, it was pretty cool, and um, it was there for hours, so I had to keep an eye on it for ages. And we, we have a park across the road from my house, so we tried to look there, we thought that would have been a safer place. But then it went down the drain, so we called some experts about it. And they said it's fine. It, it should be fine down the drain, and probably wouldn't have gone down there if it didn't know what it was anyway. So it should be fine. And apparently, that echidna has been spotted at other people's houses too. So we were told not to just let it be, do what it wants to do. Could add yeah. a burrow or baby nearby. So it's pretty cool. Mm. It's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, we get. Some quite large lizards in our backyard. Nothing mm -hmm. like crazy, like no blue monitor tongues. lizards. Blue tongue? Have you ever blue seen tongues? a blue tongue? Yeah. I think they're technically blue tongues. a skink. You know a skink, yeah. Is that right? Skink. Yeah. Never heard of that. I don't know. There's like technical classification for them. And I've also got a shingle back uh, in my backyard once, which my dad accidentally cut off its tail with the lawnmower once. They grew back. They grow back. <laughs> Yeah, they grow back. Don't worry. Um, it does look like a head, though. So <laughs> it's Wait, did like you keep a it? bird Actually. swoops um, at what it thinks is the head. It can drop its tail and survive. Oh, that's cool. So we haven't seen that in a while. It can drop its own tail. Yes. It's probably a dead. Uh, yeah, but blue tongues we can see occasionally, even outside my window behind where, where we're facing at the moment. Um, you saw your name can, before. <laughs> are you calling them the lizard people? Uh, yeah, occasionally we can see lizards. Also, we get like tiny little geckos and stuff. It's pretty cool when like I had a gecko once and then I kept it as a pet for a few weeks. Did it die? No, it okay. bit my finger and then ran away. <laughs> uh, were you like holding it outside? I think I did get rid of its tail by accident. I can't remember. Oh. But it grew back really quick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like. You can see just like a gecko outlined on the glass sometimes. Uh, yeah, we also get lots of spiders though. Uh, Unfortunately. Most. And snakes are common too, but not really yeah. in our area. But... Most we see of the spiders, they're non venomous, uh, which are very good. Daddy um, long legs? Yeah, mostly daddy long legs. <laughs> they're venomous, but. Apparently they're not a spider, but anyway. Uh, and we see huntsmen's, which do and white tails sometimes. They do hurt. and redbacks. Uh, redbacks, redbacks are like pretty venomous. No one's ever died from one, luckily. So, also another thing, we get kangaroos. There's kangaroos just up the street from me, uh, because I live kind of near the bush. Uh, it's basically like a forest out of gum trees. <laughs> yeah, uh, for a comparison, have you spotted koalas around here? Uh, no, we don't really see koalas around this part. I think they are around here. Um, but yeah, we get kookaburras, uh, which are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. it, they can be really annoying some summer's morning, waking us up at like five in the morning. 
which is a bit annoying. And occasionally we'll even get kangaroo poo on our lawn. Uh, and yeah, occasionally they nice. go down to really weird places, like even like the middle of town. I think it's only happened once though, because they're generally pretty skittish and they'll just bound off. Even if you're like 50 meters away from them. Um, once my dad was going for a run up in the bush, um, a, <laughs> a, like a buck, I think they're called a buck, like a big male kangaroo, like, had a go at him. <laughs> uh, only in Australia. Meanwhile in Australia. That's a good Facebook page, you should totally check it out. Uh, yeah, so... I think that's about it for Australia. <laughs> unless there's no poke. Unless you got any more similar. I suppose we do get unusual roadkill, like like it's kind of sad really, but like you see lots of dead kangaroos, it's like a very common sight. Um if you go from like many. Melbourne to Sydney. And you can see the occasional wombat uh, dead and alive. Uh, and there's sometimes, snakes. yeah, you dead get snakes. dead snakes a while. Birds. It's been a long time since I've seen them. Mm. Oh, we do get like peregrine falcons, which are really cool, and you can just see them hovering <laughs> along the highway. Very You've cool. You've held an eagle, haven't you? I have held a hawk. You could put that on the screen too. Uh, I could. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I will. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, any other Australian stories? I'll do for now. I don't want to carry on for too long. Yeah, I guess we <laughs> should have. Um, so what have I got here? Fun facts about myself. I was born in Melbourne. That's that big city down city. Where are you? Yes, I was born in Melbourne. I won't tell you where I live. I won't live. tell you where I was born, yeah, because that's pretty much where I live. <laughs> yeah, but I was born in Melbourne. Uh, and even if I lived in Melbourne, it would be too of an issue because Melbourne's big. Well, it's not that big compared to other cities. Uh, Is it the biggest city in Australia? Was it Sydney? Um, I think Melbourne might be. Melbourne feels bigger. Yeah. I think Sydney might have a bigger population. Uh, so how I met Jack. Oh, that's another thing about this. In this video. Kinder. So well, first year of primary. First school. year. First day of primary school. I don't know if anyone will understand how this works because it's different everywhere in the world. First day, I think we just see each other like in the playground or something. It was like, like hey. first thing in that day, we got to school. <laughs> it was like, hey, want to be friends? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, sure. And apparently, like we talked for ages. We, <laughs> we, it's and then like our a mum's left. Yeah. yeah, and we were in the same class that year. Oh, fun fact. <laughs> On my first day of, uh, of um, kinder, uh, which is the first year of primary so school. It's kinder year one, year two, three, four, I five, think, six. I think some places might call it prep, um, or even preschool is weird. Um, so the first day, I vomited. Like, first you, you ever said, you day. You said that in your last q and I did? You did. I remember. I <laughs> oh, well, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I vomited on my first day. And I, was, and I was sick a lot through you know, I was school. excited for my first day. Yeah. I was, like, getting loads of photos done. <laughs> Did we have photos? Oh, just the at home, like, yeah. At home, like, leaving, getting ready for school. Yeah. So that my sister set, was jealous. Uh, so that kind of sets the tone for uh, my primary school, at least. I was sick yeah, a lot. we were like... Yeah, you were sick. It was like, in year three, you were away a lot that year. I oh, know, because you went on a world no, tour. No, that was year two. I did go on a world tour, which I could perhaps make another video about. Yeah, you could. Um, I was eight at the time, so I don't remember too much. I'd have to get my... We were in the same class that much. We were only in the same class in kinder, in year five. In year five. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, teddy bear picnics that were a great thing I don't know if anywhere else in the world they did it but we brought our teddy bears to school and they had a picnic uh, very good um, moving on yeah hobbies so what I like is uh, magic <laughs> that was a pretty good one actually um, 
Yeah, I love magic. I don't get that much of a chance to show it to people, and I don't really like showing it. Like, I'm not that great at it, but I do like watching it, and occasionally, like, just like the feeling, seeing the feeling people get when like you show them a trick is pretty amazing. Also, another one. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> that, that was a weird press. Another hobby that I kind of fallen away from is like animation. You can see, uh, um, some in, of your first videos. Yeah, yeah, some of my first videos are animations and magic, the fake magic, but magic. Uh, magic. Yeah. Also, like the bowl. Here we go bowling a few times. I haven't bowled uh, a few times. Well, let's see my score. One second. <laughs> Last time we went, I beat you for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. So my highest score that I've recorded, at least, is 139, Mitch. And how old were you? Pretty good. I was like 12, maybe. That's good for that age, at least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like pretty good. I'm surprising you haven't beaten it, even though you're much older. <laughs> yeah. I had bumpers on. It was, I probably went oh, bowling. Bumpers quite a lot more often as well. Mm. So I got that practice in. Uh, we both do tennis. Yeah, we do. I'm doing it for a long time. I probably started when I was eight or nine. Yeah, I started, let's see, when I was ten for a little bit. Yeah, you started after me. Yeah, I didn't know that. But I, <laughs> it got like really hot and people were fainting at our like classes. <laughs> it is Australia gets like to... Uh, Summer can get to 40s, 40 degrees or higher. Yeah, like... Probably we get maybe 47 at the most degrees Celsius. Which is like usually 30s. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty gross sometimes. Like our cold stays where we live are like. At least like zero degrees or one degree at the coldest. Yeah, we've gotten yeah. snow in our town twice ever. Ever. Uh, which I guess is still an achievement. Even I mean, during the Ice Age. <laughs> in recorded history. Uh, yeah, so what hobbies do you do? Well, or have tennis done? with you. I do soccer at the moment, the season's finished. Been doing that for. Was this my fourth year or third year? I don't know. I, I think it was your fourth, maybe third. I think it might have been my fourth. It might have been my fourth. <laughs> been my fourth. Um, I used to do swimming in the past. I was alright. I did... I did gymnastics. That went for a few but years. Yeah, that was fun. You had one of your birthdays at a place that Noah, our, some guy... Uh, yeah, it was like a massive phone himself, pit. Like, Did a front flip and missed the <laughs> phone pit. Missed the phone. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, yeah, he hurt himself pretty bad. And I did small stuff. I swear. I did archery at one stage Sorry. too, which I found really fun. Um, it was indoors, actually, like in a kind of basketball-ish. Oh, basketball! That's what I did. I did oh, basketball oh, for a few oh, years. Oh, I, remember, I, I was good at basketball. We had a good team. Yeah, like. Uh, get coached together, and we we will play every like competition every weekend. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um. Any other hobbies? Oh yeah, I think that might be it. Archery was fun. I I'd, I'd like to do it again. Actually, I'd like to get my own bow, but I don't really have the backyard uh, to kind of do it. I do have you an can't archery do. target uh, somewhere. 
things we've talked about, Lincoln. Our holidays. So it is our holidays at the moment, hence why we're able to do a vlog style. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So not much has been doing in the ho I've been doing in the holidays. Just uh, I've been getting run back to where we're at. Not quite there, but I'm gonna just record it anyway, and hopefully you guys will not mind too much that I'll be repeating a few levels. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, our sister's had her birthday. How much alcohol did your parents buy for her birthday? They bought a lot, but it is a 21st, so, uh, Was you, it know, $120 you know worth how or people are with alcohol. I, go crazy. I don't know if it's like just Australia, but just, kids just, drink alcohol like at the age of 14, 16. <laughs> uh, Some do. I, I, I don't. I don't. I've had like one, which was recent. <laughs> Confession. Uh, yeah, but, I've like tasted a tiny bit with like... Let us know in the comments, is that like with other places as well? Is that just Australia? Yeah. Uh, by the way, the legal drinking age in Australia like is nine years of it. <laughs> it's, it's 18. I know in America it's 21, so 21st birthday. Uh, everyone, all of my sister's friends, will be able to drink. Unless they're driving, uh, that is. Um, yeah, so I think we're just about running out of time. We've probably got time for one more we had the topic. AFL this week, AFL, Australian Football League. Yeah. Grand final, uh, which you probably don't know what that is. On the I was thinking about this the other day. Um, American football is an NFL. No, it's something like that. It's weird. They call it football, but at no time do they hit it with their feet. Yeah. Because I was thinking about like what's right or wrong. Like football is. But don't in they soccer. call soccer football too? What do they just call it? Soccer. We call uh, it soccer. Like. European countries call fo football is soccer, whereas our football, it does actually make sense yeah. calling it football because we hit it with our feet. I've played a tiny bit of it, did markers up. Markers Put up. some pictures. No one, no one knows what markers up is, but Put it's some basically pictures. where you get it. hit a ball, you kick a ball up in the air, everyone else, so one person kicks the ball up in the air, everyone else tries to catch it. It's called a mark in AFL. Mm -hmm. Catching is a mark. And whoever catches it gets to be the kicker. Marks it. <laughs> whoever <laughs> marks it gets to be the kicker. What if Mark marked it? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah, so that was fun. I did get a very badly scraped knee <laughs> once upon a time with all gravel and stuff in it. Uh, yeah, that happened to me once too. Three. Yeah, someone like tried to specky me. <laughs> These make no sense to anyone. It's when it's when they like jump up to mark the ball, but they like they kind of climb, up climb the back on the with other their knees, back. sort of. So he like put all his weight on you, and you like, and then fell I, to the like, ground. Fell, and we both got grazed knees. And then the lady uh, at the office that was like cleaning up the thing was like, <laughs> I was like crying and stuff. <laughs> And the lady's like, oh, if you keep crying, we're going to have to jump your leg off. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> no. And I think that made me stop crying. Um, yeah. So I guess that's all we've got. You had a haircut for. today. Yeah, I got a haircut. Your hair was probably about long as mine. Or even know. longer. Yeah. Oh, I think it was about the same. You just in came areas. into my house without letting me know. Say, hey, do you want to record Chatty Tuesdays? And then came here. <laughs> and I also got Lego Dimensions too. But I think that would just about do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a lick. <laughs> <laughs> a lick. Uh, I think you really loved it. Make sure to sub Scribble. Um, <laughs> uh, the last episode of Chatty Tuesdays will be in the bottom left. The next will be in the bottom right. And you can subscribe by clicking the bell. But for now, we'd like to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you all in the next. Sayonara! Sayonara.